Hello and welcome. I am Saurav Sri and you are watching my YouTube channel Advanced Physics Unfolding the Mysteries of Nature. So in lecture one, uh, we discussed about Dulong's and Petit's law in which we derived this law using the simple equipartis and energy theorem and so that the specific heat or heat capacity at constant volume is equal to 3R. Now today, in this second lecture in condensed matter physics series, we will discuss about the experimental results related to this heat capacity and this Dulong and Petit law. So as you can see in this graph, this is the experimental result of heat capacity as a function of temperature. So as we see that, as the temperature increases, heat capacity increases, and at higher temperature, it goes to 3R value, which is a constant. So now, if we compare with this Dulong and Petit's law, this uh, experimental data with the Dulong and Petit law, what we find is that this law is not explaining this data completely. So CV increases with increase in temperature at and at higher temperature, it converges to 3 so 3R. So this, at higher temperature, Dulong and Petit law is satisfied. But what about at lower temperature? So at lower temperature, CV decreases slowly with decrease in temperature and below certain temperature, it decreases rapidly, converging towards zero. So as we can see, as the temperature is decreased, this CV decreases and after a certain temperature, the decrease is very sharp. And at lower temperature, this goes to zero as T goes to zero. So, but according to this uh, Dulong and Petit law, it should be a constant value. But experimental results shows that the CV is a function of temperature. So now, uh, in order to explain this experimental result and deviation from this Dulong and Petit law, Einstein made an attempt. So he used the concept of harmonic oscillator originally defined by this Max Planck. So uh, according to Albert Einstein, every atom should be treated as a harmonic oscillator, which is confined in a harmonic well formed by its neighboring atom. So if you consider this particular atom or this particular atom, then it, it should be considered as a harmonic oscillator. And it is in a well, harmonic well, which is formed by this, its neighboring atom. So this and this atom will form a well in which this particular atom is situated. So the energy of harmonic oscillator is given as this En is equal to N plus one by two H cross omega. Now, uh, using the simple concepts of statistical mechanics, uh, we can, we can uh, derive this uh, value for heat capacity or uh, get a result for heat capacity. So we use the concept of partition function. So the partition function in one dimension is equal to summation n goes to zero to infinity k to the power minus beta e n. So where this e n is the energy of each harmonic oscillator and beta is this uh, one upon k b k. Now, uh, if we use the value of e n, that is the energy of the harmonic oscillator in this equation, then we have the summation n goes to zero to infinity e to the power minus beta n plus half h cross omega. Now we have two parts in this equation. One is a constant part, half, and one is a variable, which is n. So we can separate these two parts. And what we have is partition function in one dimension, z1d is equal to exponential minus beta h cross omega by two from this one by two 
and then summation n goes to 0 to infinity e to the power minus beta n h cross omega. Now, uh, if we expand this exponential minus beta n h cross omega in the series form, then what we have is this partition function in one dimension is equal to e to the power minus beta h cross omega by 2 and expanding the uh, exponential part e to the power minus n beta h cross omega, we have this series. So this series is nothing other than this uh, geometric series. So in geometric series, we have s is equal to So in geometric series, uh, we have s is equal to a plus r plus r square, where a is the uh, first term considered as first term and this r is common ratio. So it has some value, but this r is considered as common ratio. So uh, the sum of this geometric series is written as Sn is equal to a upon one minus r. Now in this series, uh, expansion of exponential, we have one, which is first term. So in place of a, we write one, and we can see that the common ratio in this expression is a to the power minus beta h cross omega. Therefore, the partition function in one dimension for this harmonic oscillator system is z is equal to a to the power minus beta h cross omega by two, one upon one minus e to the power beta h cross omega. And now we can further solve this equation or we can leave it as it is. So if we take out this e to the power minus beta h cross omega by two, then what we have after solving this equation is one upon two sine h beta h cross omega by two. Now uh, we can, we have this sine h function. So because sine hyperbolic can be written in this form, e to the power x minus e to the power minus x upon two. So comparing this with this value, we see that it is nothing other than this sine hyperbolic. Okay. Now, so this partition function in one dimension can further be written as e to the power minus beta h cross omega by two, one minus exponential minus beta h cross omega. So uh, instead of using uh, this value, I'm using this exponential function. So uh, if you take the natural log of this partition function, then what we have is ln z is equal to ln exponential minus beta h cross omega from this, and then minus ln one minus exponential beta h cross omega. So, now we can solve it further. So this ln exponential gives you minus beta h cross omega by two. And then this ln one minus exponential beta h cross omega is left as it is. And now uh, to calculate the heat capacity, what we need is the energy of the system. So the average energy of the system of this oscillator, energy of the system of oscillators is written as minus del ln z by del beta. So if we insert the value of this ln z from this equation, then what we have is this. So the average energy is minus. So if we take derivative of this ln z with respect to beta, so this derivative is, So this is minus beta h cross omega by two minus ln one minus exponential minus beta h cross omega. So as you can see, uh, if you take the derivative of this value with respect to beta, then what we have is simply minus h cross omega by two. And if we take the derivative of this, then one, what we have is one upon this value and then uh, further division. So this
So this average energy is written as minus minus half h cross omega minus exponential beta h cross omega h cross omega upon one upon uh, one minus exponential minus beta h cross omega. Now you can take h cross omega out of this whole bracket. So this h cross omega in bracket half plus one upon e to the power minus beta h cross omega minus one. Now, if you remember uh, from uh, quantum mechanics or statistical mechanics, then the Bose occupancy factor is written as one upon exponential beta h cross omega minus one. So this is nothing other than this Bose occupancy factor. So this average energy of the system of oscillators becomes h cross omega in bracket half plus nb, which is Bose occupancy factor. Now, so this heat capacity CV is defined as del, del T of average energy. So we have this value of average energy this. So if we use this value of average energy in this equation, then what we have is CV is equal to KV in bracket beta h cross omega whole square exponential beta h cross omega divided by exponential beta h cross omega minus one whole square. So now this is our CV. So this is CV for the system of oscillators. Now uh, we can take two different limits for temperature. One is high temperature limit and one is low temperature limit. So if we take the high temperature limit, that is T goes to infinity, then the CV, this heat capacity at constant volume for the system of oscillators becomes after solving. So we, we will solve this. So we can expand this denominator value, the exponential beta h cross omega minus one whole square in this form. So, so this exponential beta h cross omega minus one whole square is equal to, so this exponential can be written as so we have this e to the power x as one plus x plus x square upon factorial two and so on. So using this formula, we have written this as one plus beta x cross omega plus one factorial one upon factorial two beta x cross omega whole square and so on. And then this minus one. So we can cancel out this one and this one. So what we are left with this beta h cross omega plus half uh, one upon factorial two beta h cross omega whole square. So in high temperature limit, uh, we will we are uh, considering this. So we can neglect this higher order term. Uh, why? Because as the beta is nothing other than one upon kVT. So as temperature goes to the infinity this beta goes to zero and if we take higher order of this beta then obviously it is very small so we can neglect uh, this higher order term and we are left with this beta h cross omega whole square so now if we insert this beta h cross omega whole square instead of this exponential beta h cross omega minus one whole square then we have this cv is equal to kv beta h cross omega this value and then exponential beta h cross omega this value and then instead of this we have beta h cross omega whole square so you can cancel out this beta h cross omega whole square beta h cross omega whole square and we are left with cv is equal to kv exponential beta h cross omega Now, so again, uh, we have this CV is equal to KB exponential beta H cross omega. So this exponential beta H cross omega can further be expanded in terms of series. So this is CV is equal to KB in bracket one plus beta H cross omega plus half beta H cross omega square and so on. So if we take higher temperature limit, that is t tends to infinity, 
So this beta s cross omega goes to zero, and therefore we have series equal to kV. Now this is for one dimension because we have started with one dimensional partition function. Now in three dimension, uh, we have the series equal to three kV yeah? because the partition function for three dimensions changes. Okay, now if we take and a number of atoms of such atoms, which is behaving as harmonic oscillator in the system, then our CV becomes three KV and A, which is nothing other than three R. So the assumption that each atom in the system should be treated as harmonic oscillator leads to Joulomb and Petit law at high temperature limit. So the experimental curve for high temperature value is satisfactorily explained by this Dulong and Petit law. But the problem was with low temperature limit. So now see what happens with low temperature. At low temperature, as temperature goes to zero, so this beta s cross omega goes to infinity. Now, we can check what happens at low temperature. So, if we expand this CV is equal to KV exponential beta s cross omega into beta s cross omega whole square divided by exponential beta s cross omega whole square. So we can neglect this one, but because this exponential beta s cross omega is very large compared to this one. So if we neglect this one, then we are left with this. So you can cancel out one exponential beta s cross omega with this one. So now we are left with C V is equal to K V beta h cross omega whole square divided by exponential beta h cross omega. Now uh, we can further ex uh, expand this term, exponential term. So we have C V is equal to K V in bracket beta h cross omega whole square divided by Expanding this exponential term, we have one plus beta h cross omega plus one upon factorial two beta h cross omega whole square and so on up to infinity. And now we can uh, divide numerator and denominator with this beta h cross omega whole square. So what we are left with is this value kb in bracket one upon one upon beta h cross omega whole square plus one upon beta h cross omega plus one upon two and so on. Now, uh, if you take the lower temperature limit, that is, as t goes to zero, this beta h cross omega goes to infinity, and therefore the CV goes to zero. So, at lower temperature, it is completely agreeing with the experimental results. So, the assumption of Einstein that harm, uh, each atom is behaving as a harmonic oscillator and it is in a harmonic well explains the experimental data completely. So uh, it, this shows that the heat capacity is or heat uh, capacity is a function of temperature, but Dulong put it law uh, says that heat capacity is a constant value and therefore uh, the Einstein's uh, model for heat capacity is a successful attempt to explain the nature of material.